Lady Panthers, the hottest team in the GLVC right now, winners of nine in a row, and on the road at William Jewell, looking for number 10. DU sitting at 17 and four overall, while the Cardinals have won just five games on the season and give up a league worst 75 and a half points a game. Lady Panthers really just going through the motions in the first quarter, tied at 15 early in the second. Shaw lays one in, she's coming off 25 and 10 on Thursday. She takes a seat with two fouls. Angela Kraminovic takes over for her, no problem. That's a long two, she pushes the DU lead to six, 29-23 with four minutes left in the half. Lady Panthers end on a little six to two run, but probably not the half Casey Bailey and company are looking for, despite the 35-27 lead heading into halftime. Into the third quarter now, Lady Panthers come out of the half with more energy. Modest Martin ring it up from the outside. She came into this game shooting 46.2% from deep. That's number one in the conference and seventh in the nation. Then don't let this woman get hot. Makaya Brooks thinks about the three, opts to the mid-range instead, jump ahead a couple minutes later. And to show you how pure her stroke is, Brooks from the baseline, nothing but net, makes the net recoil and hang on the rim. The jumper is wet. Lady Panthers finally finding a groove. Beautiful pass from Modest Martin to freshman Sarah Mendel gives to you an 11-point lead with three minutes in the quarter. She finishes with 12. Early fourth now, Brooks still cooking. Whoop, fakes out the camera here too. The jumper gives her 13. DU up 56-46. Mid fourth now. This is what Angela Kraminovic brings as a stretch five. They don't respect the range and she makes them pay. Drury goes up 14. This one getting away from William Jewell. Micaiah Brooks massive off the bench this afternoon for Drury. 18 points on 7 of 8 shooting. They probably won't frame this game and hang it in a museum, but Drury victorious nonetheless after pulling away late. 75-56 the final score. Lady Panthers win their 10th in a row, but no, there are kinks to work out heading into next week. I think come, being the first person off the bench, um, I have to step up. So I just felt like I need to be able to produce in some type of way. This wasn't our best game, and knowing that we can be better, uh, I think it really pulls the team together and uh, makes us want to play for each other more. We just can't take anything for granted. No matter who we play, um, no matter where we play, we got to have the same approach. You know, as um, you know, it's a it's a big game or not a big game. It has to be the same approach. And I think just uh, we're down to six games left. You know, in the regular season, and you know, you don't know what's going to happen in postseason. You can't take for granted the the amount of 40 minutes you have left to play.